Hello and welcome. My name is Ethan Hamlestrall, and in today's video, I'll be walking you through how to use Documents Core Pack to generate documents and customer journeys in Dynamics 365 Customer Insights. This video serves as a visual guide to an article that we offer on our website, so if you'd like a link to that and more, do consider checking out the video description down below. Now then, let's get started. So here we are in our Dynamics 365 environment. What we're going to try to do here is we want to, we want to set up a customer journey so that way we can create a document when this journey is triggered. Now, something to note is that whenever we want to do this, we can always set up Documents Core Pack within any kind of customer journey. No matter what the journey is, we can always set it up like that. And that is what I'm going to be showing off today. But of course, before we get into that, we need to make sure we create a journey. So what we're going to do is we're just going to call this one our journey. Oops, our journey. And then make sure it's set to trigger based and then choose a trigger. The case that we want to go with today is we want to this to trigger this journey whenever a contact is created. Now, thankfully, the contact created trigger is already built in. So you can just search through it and find right here the contact created trigger. So we're just going to go ahead and create it and then we'll get started there. We'll close up that and that. So here we are in our journey. The first thing that we want to do to set this up so that way we can generate a document is we want to go here to add an action. We want to scroll down through here and we want to go down to activate a custom trigger down at connectors. And then we need to select a custom trigger. Now here we want to just create a new trigger entirely as that is what we'll need to do in order to get documents core back to work. So we're going to call this, um, we're going to call this our trigger. You can add a description if you want. Uh, but once you've got the title set up, all you just need to do is hit next and go through this window step by step, just hitting next until you get to the end where it asks you to finish it. So right now it just has to save. And then, okay, so then we can just hit next here and then ready to use. And so then that will create the trigger. It'll take a moment to get ready. Uh, but once it is ready, then we can just go ahead and put that in our, in our journey. Okay, so there we go. Uh, our trigger is ready to use, so we can go out and close out of that. And you'll see that then the custom trigger has been added and selected. And that's actually all that we need to do here in our journey. Uh, all then we need to do actually after that is save it, publish it, and then we can skip this. And it'll take a moment, but the journey itself will be published. With that out of the way, then we can move on to the next step, which is going to power automate. So now that we're here in Power Automate, now we need to create the flow for our custom custom trigger. So to create our flow, we'll go over to a new flow here and we'll go to automated cloud flow. We'll call it our, oops, our journey flow. And then for our trigger, We'll go with when an action is performed. So we're going to go ahead and cre click create for that. And then that will bring us to the flow designer. The first thing that we want to do here is we want to go on the when an action is performed and we want to make sure we fill in these four parameters. To fill in these parameters for our custom trigger, what we want to do is for catalog, we want to set this to CXP. For category, we want to make sure we set this to custom. For table name, we want to make sure this is set to none. And then for action name, we want to go with the name of the action that we just created for our journey, which is our trigger in this case. Then you can just click add that. 
and then we'll go on to the next action. For the next action, we need to make sure we go to our documents core pack connector. And we want to create a document. To find that, we just need to scroll through these actions, go to create document, sync v3 here. And we have our parameters to choose from here. The only mandatory ones here are these three, body template, uh, row ID, and a file type. For our body template, we want to make sure we go with a nice suitable template. So we'll go with our contact welcome template modified here. Uh, and for file type, we'll go with, we'll just go with docx. And then for row ID, what we want to make sure we do here is we want to go to the lightning bolt here, enter previous data from other stuff from previous step. And in this case, we want to make sure we go with the action inputs ms mkt profile ID as that will give us the ID of, in this case, our contact that we will be creating that will, be, that will then trigger the journey. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And then that should be all configured. Of course, there's other parameters that you might want to configure here as well. But for the purposes of this, of this demonstration, we're just, just trying to create a document. And now to make sure we can access a document in an easy way, We'll create one more step, one more action. Once again, going with the documents core pack connector. And we want to go with attach document job as note, because what we want to do here at the end of this is after this flow is executed, we want to make sure we can view our generated document as a note on the generated, on the newly created record. So we'll click on this. And once again, we have three parameters to, to, to choose from. For this one, we want to go with the, we want to add in the document job that will have been created from the create document sync step. So we're gonna go ahead and click see more. And at the very bottom, we'll have the document job ID. So we'll add that in. And then for table name, we want to go with contact as that is the record we'll be creating. And then for row ID, once again, we want to go with the, the MS Dyn MKT profile ID. So select that. And then that should be all set up. Okay, so that's our flow configured. We'll just go ahead and click save. And with that save, we'll just back out here. And so our flow is now ready to go. And with that configured and with our journey now configured, that means now, if everything works well, when we create a new contact that should trigger our journey and in turn trigger our flow, generating a document and then attaching the generated document as a note to our newly created contact. So let's go ahead and try that out. We're going to go ahead and create a new contact and go over here. And for a brand new contact, we're just going to name them Abby Smith. That's all we need to do here. And then we're going to save. Now, when we create the contact, everything's not going to happen immediately. Some of these processes take time. Uh, but we can check to make sure some of these things did trigger properly. If we go over to our journeys, go to, go to our journey here. Uh, it might not show up right away, but in just a second, it should show total inflow being one. And if that is the case, if that is the case, then that means this journey has been successfully created. So I'm going to go ahead and just wait and refresh until that is displayed correctly. Okay, and so you can see here now, it says total inflow one, which means our journey has been successfully triggered. And then if we want, we can also go to our flow to check to see if that has been successfully triggered. We'll go down to refresh flow runs, and you will see that this flow has been successfully triggered just one minute ago. So if all of those have successfully been triggered, then we can go back to our newly created contact, Abby Smith. 
And then in our timeline here, yes, there it is, we should see our generated document. Thank you for your trust in our products. And if we open it up, oops, we'll just open it up really quick. We should see our generated document here. Yes, there we go. Oops. There we go. We see our generated document here with the name Abby Smith. Welcome aboard. And the rest of the generated document, which means the whole journey and the flow itself successfully triggered. So with that demonstrated, I hope this was able to be useful to everybody watching this video. If it is useful, do consider checking out uh, our website, which is linked down below in the video description, and consider checking out the rest of our channel for other similar helpful videos and subscribe to the channel itself. With that said, I want to thank you all once again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.